Hi everyone. Today we are going to construct a pair of little leggings and I am working on our Baby Lock Celebrate. I thought this would be a great machine to work with today. It is small but has a lot of great features and um, even though it's small it still makes things so easy. So our Celebrate um, still has our dual feed. We can adjust our knife position. Um, has, still has a needle threader. One of the differences with it is it does have uh, manual adjustments for your tension. Uh, but our baby lock sergers are great and I rarely ever have to adjust those. Uh, Celebrate also has uh, the jet air threading. So that's a fabulous feature to have on a uh, relatively basic machine. Right, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with um, closing up my waistband. I like to get these small pieces out of the way. Okay, we're going to set that aside for a little bit. And now I am going to uh, construct my legs to my leggings. So here with our piece, um, hopefully you can see smaller stuff. It's not quite as obvious as if I was working on an adult size pair, uh, but our front is not, does not come down quite as deep as our uh, back. And oh. I'm going to sew uh, right up the leg seam on both of these pieces. So I have my machine set up with my differential feed on neutral. Um, I don't usually have a lot of problems with the stretch. Uh, this fabric wanting to do crazy things. Okay, so there's one. Now we're on to the next one. Okay, now I'm gonna turn, I've got my two legs. I'm gonna turn one leg right side out. And I'm going to insert it into my other leg, matching my inseam pieces up. So one's going to go right inside the other. Okay, fidget with it a little bit. This is a double brush poly and it has a tendency to stick to itself, but it is oh so soft to wear. Okay, so I've got everything lined up. Um, one leg down inside the other, just like that, right sides together. And I am going to serge my inseam. Well, not my inseam, my crotch seam. Inseam is my leg. Just adjust as I go. My inner seams right here in the middle meet up so I know I'm in great shape. Just to keep adjusting. Almost done. So now I'm going to turn them right side out. And I've got my leggings are looking like leggings. So now um, you can see before when I talked about how 
the back seam had more fabric than the front um, it's very apparent now this this here is that longer seam sticking up so where I put my waistband together I'm gonna come back fold it in half matching that center seam up okay so I've uh, got my waistband right sides together my folded um, to the the body of the pegs all of my raw edges are together um, so you can kind of see here how my waistband is just a little bit smaller than my um, my leggings this is my leggings right here and these two pieces are my uh, waistband so it's just a little bit smaller um, so I have put a pin in my center back and my center front and I'm just going to stretch the body of my leggings to fit or my waistband to fit the body of my leggings as I search so let's give this a go if um, I'm doing a bigger legging something other than the the little petites um, I would quarter my waistband so I would put a center a pin in my back center my front center and then the halfway on my sides and I would uh, quarter my leggings as well and match up all of those pins. But the construction's the same. Uh, once you make one or two, it's actually probably going to take you longer to cut them out than it does put them together. Let's just pull this pin out. I don't want to sew over that. And there we go. Little leggings. I'm going to put a hem in this and she'll be ready to wear.